Boom. Welcome, everybody, to the first episode of Topic Talk with TK, where you seek it and I speak it. Now, if you don't, don't know what Topic Talk is, it is, I put a tweet out the other day that was like, you know, hit me with some recent news topics, tweets, videos that y'all want to hear about, you know, that shit that Omni be saying. Uh, and we, uh, and y'all just hit me up with some stuff. So, you know, if you got a you know, question, well, there's a Q&A section now in the, uh, in the Discord. So if you want to do questions, you should check that out. But if you got some news, you want to show me that you want me to chime in on then bring it to top of talk every time you see that tweet anyway go ahead and get through it we don't got too many people uh, today obviously it's the first one but i hope that this catches on eventually so uh the first one is from furball he says uh could and should pro gamers take cues from pro athletes and how to train to get better without wrecking their health and forearms hands by the grind many gamers do aka practicing smart and methodically and not just grind well the thing about like smash, well not smash, but just gaming in general is that it's not really like your forearms and uh, get messed up. It's mostly just your hands because you know the carpet tunnel, the way you're gripping your controller, all that good stuff. So yeah, I do think that like pro athletes should probably you know learn some hand exercises, something to limber up, loosen up, all that good stuff. Because I know for a fact that like when I played, uh, the way that I grip the controller, if I play for long periods of time, this part of my hand like starts with, like the uh, middle finger knuckle. And like the tendon down here starts to hurt because the way that I gripped up my controller. Now I'm not saying that it will go completely away, but I do think that as sma uh, smashers and gamers in general, that you do have to take a uh, care of your health or your hands just a little better than we have been. Um, you know, we hear about a lot of smashers uh, just in general, like having hand problems. You know, Mewtwo King had a whole saga where everyone was telling him go to the doctor. Uh, hacks plays on box now because he can't really like he messed up his hands playing too much on the gamecube controller and stuff like that now i won't blame it on the gamecube controller uh, i actually think that's one of the better made controllers even though it is kind of weird um like as far as comparison to other other controllers but uh i do think that you can do some type of hand exercises to keep your hands more limber and uh prolong the longevity of you being able to play games for a long period of time and just you know over the years so So, yeah, I mean, there's definitely levels to that. I don't know if I would say they need to practice, like, you know, uh, like, pro athletes, they got to hit the gym. It's good to hit the gym regardless, but you know what I'm saying. Like, I don't think you have to, like, hit the gym for some hand exercise. You can easily buy one of them, like, hand squeezers, uh, the hand squeezer thing, and just do that every now and then, you know, to keep your hands, you know, limber or whatever. Just do some uh, hand cracking exercises, you know, just do a little, you know what I'm saying? There's a... Uh, there's all kind of things you can do for your hand. In fact, there's a doctor that, yes, there we go. She, if you ever have hand questions, this is the person to ask. Kate uh, McGee, she, like, was at a lot of the events before. I don't know. I mean, obviously, she she may still be at events later, but she was at a lot of the Smash events before and doing, like, you know, uh, educating people about hand health and, you know, showing them hand massages that they can do. Uh, and whatnot. So, if you ever got questions, uh, I think she was at SmashCon a couple times. If you ever got questions, this is definitely the person to ask. As you can see right here, play more hurt less. Like, they're already, you know, they're already trying to figure this thing out. But yeah, so, yes, you do need to take care of your hands as a, uh, as a Smash player or just in general as a fighting game player. Anybody that has to play with a controller for long periods of time, you need to take care of your hands. You know? Thank you for that question, Furball. Let's go ahead and see what else we got. All right. Uh, we got Dan Ugor saying, thoughts on Ryu dropping the It's Morphin' Time. I don't think I've actually seen that yet. So let me go over here. Ryu uh, Power Ranger. There you go. All right. Let's, let's, see what he, uh, let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. I heard this game is like really good now, by the way. If I was in the team fighters, I'd probably be about it. You must defeat my sure you can to stand a chance. Wait, so it's really just Ryu in the game. 
I thought this was a skin. No, this is just the whole character. Yo, this game actually look kind of lit now. What the? Bro, if I was in the Team Fighters, I'd play this. I always like, always like seeing demos of uh, games like this, though. I will keep on fighting. I know the answer lies ahead. You ready for this? Wait, when does he say it's morphin' time? Damn, it's Chun Li too. Wait, but what? <laughs> when does he? Uh. It's the same thing I just watched, ain't it? All right. Maybe that was just a... Uh, maybe that was just a you know, funny way of saying that, like, what do you think about Ryu in the game? I don't know. Uh, okay. It's, it's hard, not hard to get into. Well, the thing about team fighters, I'm just not good at learning multiple characters at once. That's all. I, I don't I'm just not good at team fighters. It doesn't matter how hard or easy it is to get into. Team fighters are just never for me. Cause I never like remember to do the team fighting stuff. Like when I see a combo, I just see the combo as uh as the combo with that one character. So I'm gonna be thinking about all right, combo, 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 tag assist, you know, to extend the combo. I'm gonna be thinking about stuff like that, unfortunately. So there uh that game looks like it might actually be nice now. You know? So, that's a, uh, that's nice. So, I mean, I, you know what, I have to say that, like, I actually do like uh, uh, Ryu being in that game. I think, I don't, I don't know, I wouldn't say it brings validity to the game, but it definitely brings familiarity to the game. So, if some people were, like, hesitant because they didn't want to learn, you know, some, a, a bunch of new cast or whatever. Like, Ryu is always Ryu, you know, it just depends on what the system is, but, like, Re that Ryu probably plays very similar to like, you know, Tatsunuka vs. Capcom Ryu or something like that. So, that's gonna be, uh, that's good for the game. You know? Um, for sure. But I don't know if, uh, I, I don't know if it's gonna like bring in more sales or anything. But I, I did hear that that game is actually pretty, uh, fresh now. So if you were interested in it, but like, it was bad when you first played it, I would definitely give it a try again. Heard that game is mad fresh. So, yeah. Uh... We got Graf Ensign saying, using emulators versus buying the product. Okay, now that's a pretty interesting uh, subject. I think that, I think that using emulators versus bu buying the product is like, it depends, to me, it depends on how old the product is. You know what I mean? Like, or, or if I own it. Like, I mean, I'm using Yuzu now, but I own Smash. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have, it's right there all the time. I own like two copies of Smash, actually. I got the physical and the uh, digital. Um... So, like, I do think that it kind of depends on um, the time the product's been out and how hard it is to probably get the accessibility of that pro product and uh, the functionality of the um, emulator. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I want to play Drink, if I want to play Power Stone, right, with other friends, there's a Dreamcast emulator with online capability. Without it, I can't play Power Stone with my friends, unless they come over. You know what I'm saying? So, in, in situations like that, sick. But as far as like emulating, if like some, they made a PS5 emulator right now, I wouldn't be using that, bro. Like that's just, I don't know, man. The, the system just came out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you really want it, just go get it. Uh, but anything like, you know, anything past gen, you know, SNES stuff, new Super Nintendo stuff. Oh, SNES is Super Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo stuff, uh, Sega Genesis stuff. You know, all that good stuff. I feel like at that point in time, you know, because it's kind of hard to uh, to access, eh, I'm, I'm not going to 
I wouldn't harp on nobody. I wouldn't say they were pirating or anything like that. I, I guess it is still kind of technically pirating, but you know what I mean. Like, I'm not going to be like, wow, this guy is legal as fuck. So. So. You know, it's cheaper to emulate, obviously, but personally, I found it feels less rewarding to play a game if I haven't spent money on it. Okay, that's a, that's a fair assessment. Um, I usually don't emulate games that I have not had before, though. So, anytime that I, I did do older games, like I did older emulation games, and games that I did play when I was younger. So, like, I currently plan to do the um, Perfect Dark on the controller, or, or on the uh, mouse keyboard, sorry, uh, emulator. But I own Perfect Dark. You know, I owned and played that as a kid. So, same thing with 007. I owned and played as a kid, you know? So, like, I feel that, though. I definitely feel that. Like, if there's, if you're going to emulate something, at least, you know, have had it before. So, I feel like a lot of games I emulated just collected dust. Damn. It's it's free with Game Pass. What you, what's free with Game Pass? Oh, oh, the, uh, the Power Rangers game. Okay. So, uh, it's cheaper to emulate, I'm saying, yeah, 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 plenty of great games are dead right now, that's true. Honestly, it sounds more like you, uh, got hit by the sunken cost fallacy more than anything. Like, the fact you put money into it means you, you want to like it, so your brain probably tricks you into liking it more than you might actually like it. I think that's fair, too. There's definitely about a lot of games that, like, I think I gave too much more of a chance because I, I did buy it, and I was like, but I didn't like it the, you know, while I was playing it, but I was like, alright, let me give it a little time. Um, mostly because... I feel like it's hard to judge a game off the first hour unless it's like an indie game and it has like, and, and it's like super one dimensional. I mean, I'm sure there's some one dimensional AAA games, but usually like if I see those, I'm just not going to buy them. Um, but like, I feel like even if I don't like a game at the beginning, I think if I play a little bit past the beginning, there probably is something I like about it. Uh, but for the most part, um, I just think you have to give the game a little more than an hour or two tops to really be able to say, all right, I hate this game, you know? So, um, there's like a lot of games, uh, I treat it as the same as movies. If it's been out too long, I'm gonna find it. But if I bought it, I'll beat it within a week. Just that Radio Future literally nowhere to be seen. That's fair. Uh, just, just that Radio Future does have like a spiritual successor coming out soon though. So that should be fun. I'm definitely uh, hyped for that game. Yeah, I like I played uh, Street Fighter Five a ton because I wanted to get my money's worth, but I eventually realized I only put in that time for that reason, bro. Like I have all the DLC for Street Street Fighter, and I think that game has been played a, a collective of fifteen hours. So, uh, how about if it's been dead for a while, but then it gets re-released for new consoles? Stop emulating and get the game or not? I actually hate re-releases. Um. I hate re-releases because I think that's a cheap money grab half the time. Like, continue to work on the new thing that you're talking about. Like, all the times that Zelda has been re-released, I've never bought another Zelda. And I'm, like, a huge Zelda fan. This whole arm is just Zelda tattoos, you know what I mean? Like, got the Sheikah symbol, Wolf Link, got the Master Sword back here. Like, but I'm tired of re-releases. I don't want to play uh, Ocarina of Time for the 19th time on a different system. Like, I, I beat that game a shit ton when it was on the N64. Uh, I beat uh, Majora's Mask, the shit ton was on the N64. You know, I beat Wind Waker like four times. I beat Twilight Princess like eight times. You know, I I don't like re-releases. And let the only time I like re-releases is when it changes up the format completely. Like, you know, with or or I guess remakes, if you will, because like you think about Final Fantasy VII, right? Final Fantasy VII um, was a turn-based, you know, RPG, and then Final Fantasy VII remake was an action RPG, which made me want to play it a lot more because I love action RPGs. So, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I, I'm not really a fan of re-releases re like that, but I understand that, like, they're... I understand the re-releases probably aren't for me, though. Uh, because, uh, like, usually, I think re-releases are for people who have not got to play the game the first time, and they're probably for, like, you know, the younger audience. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I played the game a bunch because I'm 31, and I had a lot of time to game. But... Um, that kid that's like 15 may have not got a chance to play Skyward Sword or Wind Waker or whatever was re-released. So, you know, he gets a chance. So, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I'm just, I, I can't, I can't keep seeing, uh, Ocarina of Time come out on, on 14 different systems every time Nintendo decides to update their system. So, keep working on a new game for me. That's what I want. You know? 
Remember when they released Super Mario All-Stars for the Wii? That collection was already a re-release? Damn. To be fair, I think re-releasing for a cash grab frees up the opportunity to take risks down uh, the line on new IPs like Splatoon or ARMS. Hmm. I guess so. Um, I mean, I guess I can see how that works. You know, funnel some money in so you can uh, put it into a different IP. It seems kind of scummy, though, but like, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, we got Defer saying, expectation and hopes for the 3D rival game. Um, I hope that it runs well. I don't know. Like, that's it. Like, I, I feel like Rivals is a, is a solid game, you know? Like, I don't really think that there's much I have to say uh, about Rivals. I think that Rivals just uh, is a solid game. And as long as the 3D game uh, plays like the 2D game, but with better graphics or with 3D graphics, I'm definitely down, you know? Oh, there's already shields? Hmm. Okay. Well, interesting. Yeah, we'll see how that plays out uh, later on, though. Fran says, any games you're looking forward to besides No More Heroes 3? Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Actually looking forward, for that, uh, looking forward to that way more than No More Heroes 3. I love Horizon Zero Dawn with the passion. I'm actually going to get a Glenhawk tattoo uh, soon enough. Uh, and the little tribal things that they have, like, probably down the uh, side of my arm. Probably on the inside. Um... But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely getting a, uh, I'm definitely getting some Horizon Zero Dawn tattoos. I want that game real bad. Uh, there's a couple other indie games I'm looking into, like Fi uh, Friday Night Express is, I think is what it's called, or Fight Night Express, and uh, a couple of these other. Oh, and Tunic, which I've been looking forward to since like 2016. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's so there's some other games on the on the horizon for sure. But as of right now, I think the only thing I'm really looking forward to is one, the update for Monster Hunter Rise, so they can continue the story, and then two. Horizon Zero Dawn, whenever uh, that finally comes out, we get some more information on it or whatever. 